Hi, welcome to another eye health episode on my channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about presbyopia and the need of reading glasses. Want to know what causes it, what the symptoms are, and how to correct for it? Stick around. To understand what presbyopia is, we have to first understand there is an accommodation system in our eyes to help us focus from distance to near and vice versa. This function is made possible by the changing of the shape of the natural lens in our eye by the flexing of the focusing muscles in our eyes. This ability is greatest when we're young because the natural lens starts off being thin and flexible. However, as we age, layers of cells are added to the outer surface of the lens, kind of like the rings of a tree. By the time we hit our 40s, the lens becomes so bulky that it becomes really hard for the focusing muscles in our eyes to effectively change the natural lens shape to help us focus at near. The gradual loss of the ability to focus at nearby objects is called presbyopia. You may have presbyopia if you are in your late 30s or older and show the following symptoms. You find yourself struggling to focus from distance to near and vice versa. You find yourself holding material further in order to focus at near. And for those with nearsightedness and or astigmatism, you find yourself preferring to take your glasses off in order to focus at near, and this was not the case before. There are three ways to correct for presbyopia. Number one, correction with glasses. Having presbyopia means you now need different lens powers in order to focus for distance and near. Some people like to have separate single vision glasses for viewing distance and near respectively. The pro to this method is that you get a wide field of view for the activity that you're engaged in for that distance. For example, driving or reading a book. The downside to this method is that you do have to switch between two pairs of glasses. Another way to correct for presbyopia with glasses is by progressive or multifocal lenses. This design is an update of the line bifocal or trifocal lenses, which have the different powers separated by visible lines in the lens. The progressive lenses, on the other hand, give a seamless look and gradually transitions from distance power at the top of the lens to intermediate power in the middle to reading power at the bottom of the lens. Incorporating all three powers into one lens increases convenience, but that does mean there is a smaller field of view for each viewing distance as compared to the single vision glasses. In the progressive lens design, there is a corridor of clear vision in each lens and there are peripheral zones to the very left and to the very right of each lens that is not meant to be looked through. For those who are more of an eye turner, their eyes can wander out of these corridors and into the blurry zones, causing dizziness and inadaptation. One way to offset that is to become more of a head turner so that your eyes remain in the corridor of clear vision. For contact lens wearers, there are three ways to correct for presbyopia. Number one, you can wear distance single vision contact lenses to view distance and wear readers over top to view near. Number two, you can be corrected with multifocal contact lenses, which have distance and near zones within each lens to help you focus for distance and near. While there is the advantage of not needing reading glasses to view near, expect that there will be a compromise on the absolute clarity for both distance and near. Number three, there is a monovision contact lens setup which uses single vision contact lenses to correct one eye for distance and the other for near. While some adapt just fine, others find their depth of focus to be affected noticeably, leading to inadaptation. With advances in laser technology and lens implants, more people are now turning to surgical options to enhance their distance, intermediate, and near vision. For example, Presbycite, 
a type of laser vision correction and refractive lens exchange, a lens implant option can both result in freedom from glasses and or contact lenses. If you're interested, make sure to ask about this at your next eye doctor's appointment or email me at the email provided in the description box below. Having your eyes change in the way they focus at near can be both confusing and frustrating. Hopefully this video helped you to see that there are many ways to cope with the change and to keep your vision clear for all distances. If you took something away from this video, please support by hitting the like button, consider subscribing for more eye health videos, and hit that notification bell so that you won't miss the next video. Until then, I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Ha, <laughs> ha,